another beautiful day in quarantine today and found an interesting project uh, for all you command line buffs out there, which I know there's at least a few because the Zish video is a pretty popular one. I found something pretty interesting. Basically, let me just put myself in the corner here. Basically, uh, IBM, big blue, big beautiful blue, has created uh, this application called CLAI. Very cool. And uh, it's basically a small AI and some plugins uh, in your CLI to kind of guess at your incorrect commands and help you out, help you out while you're chilling, where you're most comfortable, which we are, I'm sure we all know is a CLI. They have a little white paper that talks about it. I went through and read this. There's nothing too crazy. I just thought there was, sorry. Uh, they, I just thought there was something funny that I really want to quickly show you and then let's, uh, let's hop in. But they, in their white paper, they're like, oh yeah, we can, you know, it, integrate with other plugins, just like the fuck. I don't know. I just thought it was funny. That was funny that IBM AI researchers or ha have to say that anyways anyway so yeah let's try it out it's um seems pretty cool let's give it a give it a rip give it a rip maybe it'll change our lives who knows who yeah so then you run the docker image so you have your docker image yes. beautiful we're in we're in guys I'm in. All right, CLAI. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, well, we can we can do normal bash stuff. We can do normal bash stuff. It only takes two hundred years. Okay, so that's it's already very slow. But also, this terminal has been running really slow because uh, I'm running OBS, um, which is the recording software. So don't worry about that. Um, you know, I'm not trying to make excuses for IBM. I don't work there or anything, but it's computer's running so apply skills what skills do you have all right all I have is Telena yeah sorry I turn we're doing cool retro turn now this is the only thing that I thought could possibly match the advancedness of IBM and their AI program. All right, here we go. Where was it again? Uh, you. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. CLAI in the old-fashioned, cool retro term. Okay, there can't be anything much more sufficiently advanced. Or else it shall be magic. All right. Now. Um. Tar that file called something dot txt. Tar it up. Tar it up. I'm, ta I'm talking English. Try. Oh, get. Try oget path name MVS. What the hell is that? This is terrible. This is going horribly. This is going horribly. What the frig is going on? Oh my gosh. How do I? Increment a number. And that's the spell increment wrong. Try grep NCI. Try grep. I can't handle this. I cannot handle this. What the hell is OGET, dude? OGET?
Command not found. Why would you suggest? Shame on you, IBM. What's going on here? This is so bad. This is so bad. How do I how do I compress a folder into a GZ file? GEZ file. Or here we go. Nice. Look at that, dude. Tar dash C Z F. C Z F. How do I compress a folder to a GZ file? Tar that C Z F archive file directory. Amazing. 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 So grab something. Dot text for all the lines that have Juliet. Show me line numbers. Grab it for all the lines that have Juliet. Show me the line numbers. And away we go. Try grep dash n string file name. Very good. There you go. Try grep dash n string file. The. I mean, makes sense. Try, try it. Try it. All right. So overall, you know, not to be a negative Nancy, but I was actually pretty disappointed in the CLAI, I think, um, I don't know, it's just this readme hyped it up like a lot, like a lot, uh, and I read the white paper, I was pretty excited, turn on the video to make a video, or the recording to make a video, and, uh, was, was pretty, uh, was pretty disappointed, like, um, basically what they're doing is they're, uh, putting in a bunch of already well-known command line tools that, uh, some of them I even covered in my Zish video, and adding two of their own, which are the more machine learning ones, which is uh, this one, this natural language command to real command, which basically takes a natural language sentence and um, gives you a command to write, but uh, it really only works with tar and grep, which is not super fun. And if you just learn those, you just learned those. There's such a massive amount of overhead for just that and um, their other one was the man page explorer which was supposedly uses natural language processing on the man pages for you to um, you know read the man pages go through them find exactly what you're looking for but I don't know it wasn't working for me especially not in the docker container Docker container doesn't even come with man pages pre-installed which is just kind of whack um, other than that, it seems like they're just packaging or repackaging a bunch of bots. I noticed that they called the fuck fix it because um, this would this would be a bit dirty. This would be a bit dirty. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a cool idea. I why does everything have an XKCD? I feel like it's a cool idea. Uh, having an AI assistant at the CLI would be pretty dope. But I just feel like this project is just not there yet. And um, yeah, hopefully that was interesting. Hopefully, uh, you know, you guys got to see something. Um, next video is going to be much more interesting, working on a cool little project. So be in tune for that.